Hello, it's me. I'm pretty excited today because guess what we're going to make? We're going to make some yogurt in the slow cooker. That's right, you heard it right. We're going to make it in the slow cooker. We don't need a thermometer. We don't need any of the fancy schmancy equipment and you don't need a yogurt maker. You, These are the things that you're going to need. You're going to need your slow cooker, uh, your crock pot, whatever, whatever you have, as long as it's a slow cooker. I'm using my big one here. And you're going to need two quarts of milk. I am using whole milk. You can use powdered milk if you like. That makes a very good yogurt. Uh, just don't use the instant powdered milk, but you can use it. And I have a bath towel, a nice thick bath towel. Yes, I said a bath towel, right? And you need a carton of, a small carton, half a cup to a cup, half a cup works great, of plain, you see I said that, plain yogurt. And that's it. And, oh, the important ingredient is time, okay? Now then. This is what we're going to do. We're going to pour our cold milk, two quarts, into the crock pot. And I'm going to put the setting on low. I'm going to set my timer for two and a half hours and I'm going to walk away. I'm not going to stir it. I'm not going to take the lid off. I'm not going to mess with it. I'm just going to leave it alone for two and a half hours on low. Okay? All right. Then the next thing I'm going to do is, after my timer goes off, I'm going to come back to my crock pot, I'm going to turn it off, and I'm literally going to unplug it. The reason that they recommend unplugging it is so that your crock pot does not accidentally get turned on. We don't want that. So it's safe just to unplug it. Then I'm going to set my timer for three hours and I'm going to walk away. <laughs> Just walk away. Okay, now don't take the lid off, don't stir it. Just leave it alone. It, you've got to leave it alone because this is what's going to bring that temperature perfectly where you need it to be in order to activate the cultures in your yogurt. Okay? So, I'm going to leave it right there for now, and then we'll come back, and I will show you what to do after the three hours are over. Okay? This is a process. It takes a while. Don't worry about it. It's, it's just very very simple it's just that it takes time because you are fermenting your milk and turning your milk into yogurt now one thing i do want to say once you get your yogurt made uh you don't have to buy this anymore you don't have to buy your starter you can just reserve a little bit of your yogurt and turn that into your starter okay now i will say this and you might want to keep this in mind that you can do that, use your yogurt for a starter for, oh, I've done it for, say, four or five times. And at, then at some point, your yogurt will get a little bit too tangy for some people. And uh, if that's the case, then just buy uh, uh, one little container of the plain yogurt and start her again. Okay? All right. Now, let's put this. Let's put this milk, I have whole milk, I prefer whole milk for my yogurt. So I'm gonna dump that in there. Oh my gosh, this has been pretty hard so far. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it or not. <laughs> you know, the simplest things can, can be so wonderful, can't they? They can yield such good things from simple things. All right. This will go back in the refrigerator. I just brought it out so I could show you what to use. And I'm going to put my lid on. Oh my gosh, such a strain. 
and I'm going to turn my crock pot on low. Okay? All right. And I'm going to set my timer. Come over here. I'm going to do that. Timer at two and one half hours. And let it go. Now, if you have to run errands, that's fine, but you know what? You don't have to um, uh, stand over it necessarily. But you want to be make sure that you're around when the timer goes off, okay? That's pretty important because you don't want this to go over. Otherwise, it will be no good. Okay, so there we are, and we will come back after... Um, at various intervals and I'll show you what we're going to do after that I think well, I'll come back after the three hours and then when we add our yogurt culture and then I'll show you where we're at okay all right stick with me you're gonna like it you're gonna love this especially if you have kids yogurt gets expensive doesn't it okay we're gonna make our own all right we'll be back oh look the timer just went off and here is the heated milk for the yogurt now I'm gonna turn it off remember turn it off but don't forget unplug it okay now let's take a oh no 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 you can't take a peek you have to leave the lid on okay now what are we gonna do we're going to set our timer for three hours and we're going to let it set, okay? It's not time to add the active culture yogurt, and it's not time to use our bath towel. So, here we go. I'm going to set that timer for three hours, and we're going to be off and running. Well, we're going to be off and sitting. <laughs> okay! Make sure that you, you come back because in three hours, I'm going to show you what to do next. Okay, those three hours are up as of right now. <laughs> Turn off my timer. So, the three hours are up on the yogurt, are up on the, meat, the milk mixture, and uh, it's been sitting in the crock pot. The crock pot turned off and unplugged for three hours. Now we're on the last leg of the yogurt making. And you know what? I got a lot done in those three hours. I actually didn't sit. Uh, the the uh, milk set, but I didn't. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Take the lid off this. And now we can take the lid off because it has set. Now, the milk should be exactly the right temperature, okay? Now, there might be that little bit of, of skim on top of the milk. You can take that off or don't worry about it. Frankly, I don't worry about it. It's not, it, it just gets eaten up by the uh, probiotics anyway. So, now I know that it's exactly the right temperature and I'm going to take a cup of it about a cup and I'm going and I have a bowl of yogurt here with active cultures and that is this this container of yogurt that I showed you earlier um, uh, it's just six ounces of yogurt and I'm going to use the whole thing now I think I stated in the beginning that you could use a half a cup to a cup but really whoa really a cup is about too much um, I just use the whole container, which is six ounces. You can use four ounces, but why when, when you can just use the container? Okay, so now I'm going to kind of stir this up a little bit. You don't have to mix it too hard. I'm just mixing it up. I'm incorporating the, the yogurt in the warm milk, and then that way um, the yogurt is not stone cold and just poured into the hot mixture and plus that it makes it easier to mix once you get it in the into your slow cooker okay that looks pretty good all right 
So now I'm going to pour this in the milk mixture. Make sure all that's in there. And then I'm just going to take my little whisk here and I'm going to incorporate that in. Okay. Now see, isn't this easy? That's all there is to it. And we are going to have fantastic plain yogurt. Now, speaking of that, I want you uh, to be aware you can use flavored yogurt for this if you want to. But um, whatever flavor you use, that is the flavor that your yogurt will take on. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you have vanilla yogurt with active cultures and you put that in there, then your yogurt, your whole batch of yogurt will taste like vanilla. Now, if that's what you like, fantastic. Personally, I would rather go with the plain and then flavor my own. And another thing I wanted you to know is this. Um, the Fit and Active brand yogurt in uh, that is sold at Aldi does not work for this. Um, I made the mistake of trying it and did not look at the label. Um, and what happened, what is on the label is that there are other ingredients in there that thicken the yogurt. And, and um, so you... It's just not appropriate for that. I think that it just doesn't have that probiotic content content that we need when we just use regular yogurt. Okay? All right. So now I'm going to wrap this up in a towel, and I'll show you what that looks like. And I got my bath towel here, handy-dandy, trusty bath towel. And um, I'll show you what that looks like. There you go. Now all I've done, I've just tucked the bath towel in around the, the crock pot, as you can see there. And I just shoved it back in the corner of my cabinet, and I'm going to leave it there. Now it's about midday here, and according to the original recipe, it needs at least 8 hours, but I'm just going to leave mine overnight, and then I will check it in the morning. So I will leave a link to this. Um, recipe so that you'll know where I originally um, got it from many years ago. I checked online. It's the recipe still there in a slightly different format, but it is there. And she originally got it from um, a home extension service. So uh, I will make sure that I add that. But in the morning, we will come back and I will show you the finished product. I think you're going to be impressed and I think you're going to be very, very happy that you you are going to know how to do this. Okay, all right. I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> all righty then. Hello, it's not morning yet, but I forgot to tell you something. Don't remove the towel until it has sat for the appropriate amount of time. Do not remove the towel. Do not look inside. Do not stir it. Leave it alone, okay? Don't let anyone else look inside. If you have to put a note on top that said, do not touch under severe penalties, please do. Let your family know that you are making yogurt and this has got to stay covered up. Okay? So, believe me, you will be glad you did. And the second thing I forgot to mention to you is when you are looking at your yogurt to buy to for your starter, make sure that on your container it says contains active yogurt cultures including acidophilus and this says bifidum. So uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing the last one correct or not, but that is the important thing, okay? Active cultures including acidophilus very very important okay all right i just want to be sure and tell you that because i don't want to leave you uh, with any misinformation or without the proper information okay all right so nighty night yogurt i'll see you in the morning <laughs> good morning i'm here to wake the yogurt up <laughs> I would 
woke up this morning I was kind of excited because I thought wow isn't it great for just a little bit of effort and a little bit of money I can wake up to uh, two quarts of homemade yogurt and what a wonderful wonderful blessing that is you know this yogurt only cost uh, around a dollar for this whole batch because I got the milk on sale at Aldi for a dollar and 49 cents a gallon and I used half of that gallon and the yogurt starter that I used came uh, from a sale item they were clearancing them out because they were just about to expire and I got that yogurt for 25 cents so this batch costs about a dollar. I just want you to see how cheaply you can make these things. All right, now let's see. I haven't looked yet, so let's see what we got. Good morning. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we have here. Let's see if I can get it in the light a little better so you can see. All right, now I'm going to take the lid off. And let's take a look. You know, that's looking pretty good. Let's see. I've got my handy dandy trusty spoon here. Let's see what we have. Oh, this is the moment of truth. Oh, look. Look at that. Uh huh. There's the yogurt. Isn't that nice? It's so pretty. I really love this so much. And it smells just like just like plain yogurt. Because it's plain yogurt. <laughs> now then, here's the deal. Don't stir this. I know we are always tempted to stir everything. But don't stir it. Just scoop it out and put it into whatever containers you want to put it in. I have some jars uh, that are left, and I'm going to put my yogurt in some jars, pasta jars, that I'm actually reusing. They're immaculately clean, of course, and that's what I'm going to do. So, there you go. There's my big batch of homemade yogurt for about a dollar. I think that's a pretty good bargain. <laughs> All right, listen, if I can do it, you can do it, okay? Uh, I know that you can because you have everything you need to do it, okay? It's, it's going to be great. Don't be nervous about this especially. It's very simple ingredients. Simple, simple, simple. Trust me. And it's amazing what you can do with your slow cooker, isn't it? Okay. All right. I'm going to let you go. And I'm going to jar this up. Okay. I love you. Hang in there. You can do it. <laughs> Listen, a little as much when God is in it. Okay? All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Thank you for watching Simple Food, Simple Life. Please like, subscribe, and share.